Hey there, Ultimate Yoshi here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. In the first episode, we won a mansion, but it's haunted. And now we need to go get ghosts and see if we can find Mario anywhere somewhere in here. So we got a key to this room. The anti-room? The anti-room. Hello, ghost. You're gone. Whoosh! Aha! You're a new ghost. You're a purple puncher. But you don't get to punch me in the face anytime soon. You might notice I took a little bit of damage and a coin popped out of me there. Depending on how how the ghost pulls you, if they pull you along the ground, ow, or if they touch you, um, you get hurt and that you lose that you lose health. It's as simple as that, really. I mean, feels kind of obvious. You can suck up a, these hearts to regain health, though, which is also kind of obvious. Anyway, you might notice purple punchers have a little bit more health than gold ghosts. It, things are getting slightly more difficult here. But yeah, the timer is basically how long that you have. I mean, it's it all kind of seems obvious to me, really. Like, th these are all just kind of, like, basic things that you pretty much figure out. Maybe, maybe not so if you're watching, but I don't know. Who here is watching who has never really seen or heard of this game? I mean... I don't know, it's pretty old at this point, old enough that I would expect most people to- most people know what this game's all about. Or at least have heard of it. Anyways, in the wardrobe room here, first thing we want to do- Well, actually, there's ghosts here, so we'll just get rid of these ghosts first and foremost. That's also a new ghost! If I'm- if I recall correctly, he's the Green Gobbler. He eats banana peels and is overall very annoying, and he takes 40 hit points to get rid of. So he's significantly more annoying than some of the other guys, and he drops banana peels when he runs away. He's just all in all very annoying, and when you slip on them, you take damage, and that's not nice. He's like Diddy Kong. Hoo-ha! And there's multiple of him in this room. You can suck up the bananas at least. Screw you, you're going there. There are mirror there's a mirror in this room. You might notice that if you look at a ghost that I'm sucking up, or really a ghost at all in that mirror, it looks really weird. The mirrors in this game do look weirdly weird, but I mean it's very early GameCube. It's kinda of understandable. But I mean look at that. It, you can barely see it, but like in the mirror it looks the ghosts look really weird. I mean this should it, yeah, there we go. Alright. Now, at some point in this room, it's going to appear like there's no more ghosts appearing. I think that's now, because there's no more ghosts appearing. So you might ask yourself, what the heck am I supposed to do? No more ghosts are appearing. Well, there's wardrobes in this room, but the one you want to open up is this one, if I recall correctly. And actually, that's the wrong one. There is a ghost hiding in there, but he's not the one you want to get. So, let's just make him disappear. I think it's this room one then? Yeah, this one has a speedy spirit. Speedy spirits are blue ghosts that hide, and they have a lot of money in them. But once the room appears bright, then you can't get them anymore. So you want to get them when the room is dark. And so if you miss out on opening this wardrobe before you open that wardrobe, then you're screwed out of getting that speedy spirit. And there's nothing in that one, no matter what. Anyway, the key appears up there. And that's nice. And that appears in that hallway down there. And over here we have another toad. Alright, is my voice ready? Let's find out. Wah! Mario, where are you? Wah! Huh, Luigi? Yes, Luigi! How lucky that you found me! I feel so much better now! Please, please, please say Mario! I looked everywhere! I can't find him! Where is he? Is this Toad a save point? Yes, he is. Alright, well, might as well save. Alright. Hmm. Frame rate seemed a little... Eh. I don't know. I don't know if... I think this game is just... This game might only be 30 FPS rather than 60. I don't know. It doesn't seem 60 FPS. I know a lot of old Nintendo games are kind of sick, are old, are actually 60 FPS, but this one might not be. They did weird things in the, 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 the Nintendo's kind of inconsistent sometimes. 
<laughs> I accidentally activated an EGAD cutscene because that's what's going on right now. But the dust from the from the pot I was sucking up stays sticks sticks around, and also the fire is frozen. That's silly. Anyways, hold up a sec, Luigi. It's me, Professor EGAD. I detect spirits stronger than what we've seen. Yet seen looking ahead. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. Oh uh, yes, I... He might have mentioned that if we did end up going to the gallery, but the thing about the gallery is... Egad is a... Painting collector. He collect He's collected a lot of ghosts and turned them into paintings, but the paintings turned back into ghosts and escaped into the mansion. That's basically all you need to know. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should first use the X button to search its hearts for clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, I'll cr keep my fingers crossed for you. Alright, what he was talking about there is if you press the X button, you gain a little first-person view thing. You can use it to look around, and then you press A. And if you use that on a ghost's heart, then you discover their weak point. All right, there's a money trail. Money, 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 money. Money. And it's a trap. But I knew that was there, and I was just doing that to show you guys. I, I, seriously, I, I did know that. I'm not stupid. Um, The way you want to know, some doors in this mansion are indeed traps. And there are easy ways to figure, but there are easy ways to figure it out. Number one is, which you can find the button that does it. Why? Here we go. On the map, they don't show up as doors. You can very clearly see that there's no door... Uh, there, next to Luigi, there's one door on the right, but not on the left. See? And this door is a real one. But another way, another easier way... Look on the ground here. There's a little floor mat. There's no floor mat there. Only real doors have floor mats, or whatever, carpet. And this is the door we want to go into. Say hello to the first boss, Neville. He's a very simple boss because all you need to do is turn around and look away from him and then he yawns. And then you can try and catch him. That's basically how easy he is. He's our first boss and you do nothing. Anyways. Ah, oh, damn it. In order to do well against bosses in this game, you need to collect pearls. Basically, is what you do. Well, not necessarily, but you get pearls depending on how well you do. And the way you want to get bosses in this game, the way you want to do well against them, like get the best ranking, is to get them down to 10 HP or less in one go. So I kind of screwed up on that part, but oh well. The longer you get suck onto them, the more, the larger pearls you get. And pearls are things you only get from, they're money that you only get from boss ghosts. There's a lot of things to explain. I hope that I'm explaining things right, but... Whatever. Uh, oh, also, something else I forgot. There's cheese back here. In some rooms, there... You know how I just just got that speedy spirit from the a couple rooms ago? The blue ghost that you kind of didn't really get to see very well because there was another ghost in front of it on accident because I'm stupid. Um, there's another type of ghost that rewards money. You might have seen that there were some small little ma mice in the hallway that I was just in that I didn't really acknowledge. There are also golden mice. My, I kind of combined the word mouse and mice. They're golden mice, and in dark rooms, sometimes there is a piece of cheese, and if you press A in first-person mode on that cheese, then you will activate a gold mouse that you can suck up and get money from. But I forgot about that entirely. I'm not even going for 100% anyway. There are also some in hallways that you can simply activate by random chance. They look like that, except golden instead of blue or purple. Anyways, ow. The one we, the room we want to go into now is this one. We got Neville, now time to get his w wife, Lydia. Now the way you want to get Lydia, she's do doing up her hair and stuff, right? She doesn't do anything against you, she's pretty much entirely non-hostile. But we can steal her money, for one thing, good. And we can also steal her bedsheets. But no, what we want to do is we want to mess up our hairdo. Let's open this window. And there we go. Such a draft? Well, not as much as a draft as I'm going to create with my vacuum. 
I think you wanna... Uh, to, in order to best get a ghost, I think you wanna combine the control stick with the C stick. And also avoid that poison mushroom. No! So close! Aww. Oh, need to get better at this game. Scrub. Scrubby, scrubby tin. Not doing well. Alright, let's get this open. Bam. And you're dead. Not gone a big pearl yet. That sucks. Alright. Shoopy doopy deepy deep. We are making pretty fast progress. We've already defeated three portrait ghosts. Two portrait ghosts, not three. And now we have a that this room. That's a nice little cutscene to go along with it. Um I don't actually know if I want to do this in this episode. Eh, you know what? I'll go for broke. Let's open up the door to the nursery. Um, is there anything in here? There's very weird lighting on that bear and doll over there. Bear and ball, not doll. The bear is the doll. Anyways, there's a big heart in this room, in this thing, if you want to get. And there's a baby ghost. Now this gun, this guy is special. And suck up the ball. So I know what to do against this guy. There's a lot of money on this rocking horse. Sucking on this horse. Angers the baby. Hello, baby. Hey, wanna play with me? When a bi go ghost baby asks you that, you say no if you want to live. But Luigi's too polite, so instead you want to shoot that out of him. The ball, you want to shoot it in. Because that's the only way you're getting out of that life. Ow! You gave me an owie! I just want to play with you. I hate pearls. Why do you have to be bigger than me? I just had enough. Small! Now grow smaller! Small! Itchy! Tiny! Little! Wee! Gaga! Goo goo ga! Did the Game Boy Horror just pop up at the bottom right? My little screen thing? That was weird. Anyways, we're now in his crib. And there's this weird Aurora effect going on in the background. It's very freaky and LSD druggy. I don't know. The baby injected us with weed. I don't even know if you'd see anything like this if you smoke weed, because I've never smoked it before, and I don't plan on it ever. Anyways, he just winked at us. That means he likes us, doesn't it? So, this is our first major boss ghost, Chauncey. Um, there are four major boss ghosts for the four major areas, and Chauncey's our first one. That was fast, wasn't it? Luigi's Mansion is not a very fast. Is not a very fast game. Anyways, basically, everything that he throws at us in this boss fight was from his room, and basically, just need to do the same thing we did before. And these boss ghosts are pretty much impossible to get in one go, but they don't function quite the same as the regular port other regular portrait ghosts. In order to get good rankings on these guys, you just never need to go below 90 health. So you can take as many times as you need to to suck them up. You just can't go below 90 if you want to get a good ranking on them. And again, rankings only if you really care about that kind of thing. That does, the ranking doesn't even affect how good of an ending you get, it's just how... Well, I mean, it kind of does for some, for some of the ones that drop pearls, but these kinds of boss ghosts don't drop pearls. Pearls grant you a lot of money, which is why they will help your ranking in the end, but rankings on regular boss ghosts in general, it is a lot of stuff. You'll understand a little bit better in a moment. As soon as I suck this guy up, it'll probably take uh, one more try after this. Not 16, I think. Something in the teens. He's almost dead, and then I can end the episode after beating the area. Boop, 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 boop. 
This baby's throwing quite the temper tantrum. Kind of reminds me of how how I how what I used to do when I was a kid. I, this is I know I've I don't think I've ever told this on on my last place before, but when I was a kid and I got angry, I did one of the stupidest things ever. If I was like super legit angry and at something, like what I would do is I would. Out of sheer frustration and anger at not getting my way, I would bash my head against the floor. And if if that floor was carpeted, I would intentionally move to a wooden floor so that it would hurt more. Don't ask me what I thought that would accomplish, but I mean, it certainly explains a lot. Anyways, we beat the boss. So let's open this special chest and get a pink key. My favorite. It's got a heart on it. And we get call from Egad. Luigi! Curse! <laughs> Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I lost contact with you all of a sudden. I was a tad worried. You seem a bit truckered out after that long battle, don't you? Why don't you come on back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss ghost, your Poltergust 3000 gets pretty much full to bursting. But <laughs> I guess you showed that boss ghost who's boss. Alright, well that went well. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Take a gander at this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I'd call it the Ghost Portrificationizer. This machine lets us turn the ghosts you catch into paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse, too. Hmm? How do we use it, you ask? Well, it's simple. Just plug that Poltergeist 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. My boy. Alright. So, now we take... We've caught a lot more, a way more ghosts than that, but those are just the portrait ghosts. They're the main things that we want to worry about, about portrifications-izing. I can't believe I said that perfectly twice in a row. Kind of a hard word to say. Anyways, first we need to press them into visible shapes with cow udders. Press them into visible forms, damn it. One word off. Presto, turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. So there's Chauncey, Neville, and Lydia. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. So, about boss ghost. Blah, 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 a ghost. Boss. Ghost. Rankings. That's what I'm trying to say. You see the frames around the pictures? Neville and Lydia are silver, whereas Chauncey is gold. That term, that's determ what determines how well you do against a ghost. There's three rankings, and the picture actually changes depending on what rank you get, too. There's, sil there's silver, which is what I got in Neville and Lydia. There's bronze. I don't know why I'm doing this out of order, but there's also bronze. That's the lowest rank. I have no idea what how, how, lo how little health you need to get for that. And then there's gold, which is what I got on Chauncey. So yeah, that's the that's the boss ghost rankings. And as for money, well, that's how much money we have right now. It's all right. So now we're up to area two. And next time on Let's Play Luigi's Mansion, we'll be heading back to the mansion. See you guys then. Groove it out to this music in the meantime.